Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called King of a Hill. This is another mini game where red and blue teams try to control a hill for the longest amount of time. Controlling a hill will give them points and once they reach a certain amount of points then they win the game. It's a really awesome mini game and all you need to do is just download the plugin, drop it in your plugins folder and start up your server. Make sure you have any permissions that are needed for this plugin to work. The permissions will be in the description. You can just click on that link and get any permissions that you need. Once you have everything we're going to go ahead and go on Minecraft. Alright guys, so once you're in your Minecraft server, you're going to need three things. You're going to need an arena, a lobby, and a place for players to spectate at. So once you have those, we can go ahead and get started. And keep in mind that the two teams are blue and red. So I've indicated on my arena where they'll spawn at with just a block of wool. But you don't have to do that. That just helps me out. So the first command is slash K-O-T-H, King of the Who, add arena, and then give this arena a name, any name. I'm just going to call my tutorial. So it should say that it added the new arena that you called it. Now we're going to set the spawns for the red team, blue team, and everything else. So the first spawn that we're going to set is for the red team. So go where you want your red team to spawn at. Stand at that point and type slash KOTH, set warp, your arena name, and then red. So that sets the blue, so that sets the red spawn. Now we can set the blue spawn. So fly over to where you want your blue team to spawn at, then type the same command except at the end you're just going to change red to blue. So it should be slash KOTH set warp your arena name then blue. So now we have the lobby and spectators spawn left. So go in your lobby, stand where you want your players to spawn at inside the lobby, and then type slash KOTH set warp your arena name and then lobby. And then hit enter. Now we can set the spectator spawn point. So where you want your spectators to spawn at, go and stand in that place and then type slash KOTH set warp your arena name and then spectator and then hit enter. So there we go. We have set all the spawns. Now we just have to add our hills because this is king of the hill. You can set your hills wherever you want and you can set as many as you want. So I'm going to set one hill right here. So all you have to type is slash KOTH set hill and then your arena name and then that will add a hill now we can add some more hills if we want to so I'm going to add a couple more it's just the same command all you have to type and it will keep adding more hills oh, I can't put a hill there and I'll just add one more hill here and then there we go once you've added your hills you're almost done now what we can do is we can go ahead and add some classes in so our classes, when we add the class, is based on what's inside of our inventory. So I'm going to go ahead and put something in my inventory so I can make a class out of it. Alright, so I've added a diamond sword and an apple for this class that I'm about to create. You can add whatever you want, but once you have what you want to add to your class, you can go ahead and type slash KOTH, add class, and then give this class a name, any, any name you want. So I'm just going to call mine Warrior. And then there we go, it's created a class with our inventory which is what we wanted. So now the last command is slash KOTH CFG and then save. And this will save all the settings that we just set and yeah. Okay so now we're pretty much done. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the signs. Alright so the first sign that we're going to create is a join sign. On your first line go ahead and type in brackets KOTH and then close bracket. On the second line just type join and on the third line type your arena name. So it should turn purple and now you can right click to join the arena. Now we're going to create a leave sign. So your leave sign should be in your lobby just in case the players change their mind about wanting to play. They want to leave. So go ahead and add a sign on the first line in brackets. It's KOTH and then close bracket. On the second line it's leave and then on the third line it's the arena name again. So there we go. Now we can leave. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back to where my join sign's at and we're going to place an info sign. So it's KOTH in brackets, info, and then the arena name. So that will really just display the info about the arena. It's nothing major. Now we can go ahead and type on the first line again KOTH close brackets and then on the second line we can type red for a red team and then on the third line we can type our arena name again. So that's to join a specific team like the red team. Now the last sign I'm going to be showing you is KOTH brackets on the first line. 
and then blue on the second line so they can join the blue team and then you're in it so then, there we go we have signs set up and now the players can use them when players play this game they have certain abilities and there's certain abilities to spawn wolves, zombies, horses, and to create landmines. So to create a landmine, all the players have to do during the game is just place down a stone pressure plate. And I'm sure most of you guys know what a landmine is. It blows up when someone steps on it. So they can do that, and they can also spawn horses just by right-clicking on a hay block. So I'll spawn a horse, and you can also right-click on a zombie flesh to spawn zombies. And to spawn wolves, all I have to do is just right-click on a bone. So you can set these items up in certain classes just to make it different and I don't know like uh, you can call one class werewolf or something like that put a bunch of bones in it and they can spawn a bunch of wolves. So that's pretty creative and those are the abilities for this plugin. Alright so that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Alright peace out guys. I'm